Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today, and today we are back for another Xbox One slash recording slash live streaming tutorial today. And today's been a highly requested one I've been asked a lot to do, as we are going to be showing you guys how to live stream on Beam from the Xbox One, because this obviously just came out for everyone yesterday, was the March update's release date. I mean, I've had this update for about two months, but every single person now should have had this update if they have obviously been on their Xbox One the last day and a half or so. But today, I'm going to show you how to stream. Remember, I showed you a couple weeks ago, I had a tutorial on how to stream on Twitch. I'm going to link that video down below in the description if you want to stream on Twitch from the Xbox One. That video will be linked down below in the description. Now, how do you stream to Beam? Obviously, there's a new dashboard here, if you haven't noticed, if you just got the update. So, you're going to scroll down to the little broadcast somewhere right here it says beam broadcasting so you go broadcast your game so let's just go under grand theft auto i want to broadcast under grand theft auto just gotta let it load here for a minute and then once it starts up we can go to broadcast your game now you just gotta give it a minute this usually takes like a couple seconds to load up here and here I'm basically going to show you the basics and what you need. And it's very similar to Twitch, in fact. Not too many differences. There's obviously a couple. Now, mentally when it starts up here, when you make it initially, you're going to have an account already made for you. So if you don't want the account, the account they're making with Beam is going to be associated to your Xbox One. So let's say you already have a Beam account and you want to stream to the Xbox One. Um... That's not gonna. You're gonna have a different account. So that means you have to go on your Beam on Beam Beam dot Pro, and you have to go link your uh, Microsoft account if you want to actually use your account that you had before. If not, Microsoft will create your own account for you. And I'm pretty sure everyone maybe wants to make their own name or something, but they'll basically make your name as your um, gamer tag. I had one that was down the bottom live, so I had to link my Microsoft account, and then I can change it back to my original one, which was down the bottom. If you guys haven't followed me on Beam yet, I'm gonna link it down below in the description. Definitely do it if you haven't already. If you enjoy. If you're a beam watcher, I would appreciate that because we're almost at 100 followers. We're pretty close. And then here you could set your broadcast title. You can go to your channel and you could advance broadcasting. So let's go. If you want to change your broadcast title, let's just say you want to change it to, uh, I'll just say GTA. Let's go GTA Heist with viewers. There you go. Just put it viewers and this is how you could set your title. You don't have to go on the actual website to set the title. If you want, you can. But add the words Xbox One at the beginning. And there we go. See? Title automatically changes. Then you go to your channel, check out your channel stats and stuff. And then the advanced broadcast settings here. You basically can use your mic, turn it on or off. You can adjust the volume of the game as well as the system. And then you can pick the video quality as higher standard. I'm pretty sure it depends on your internet speed again and what you want to use. And then after that, you gotta. Then after this, you're going to pick microphone. You're going to turn it on or off. you got an option there to turn it on and off. Camera. Now, the camera, the only optional camera you can use is the Kinect, obviously. I said this with Twitch as well. You need the Kinect if you want to have a face cam. So on this, is the only actual face cam that Microsoft will accept when you stream to Beam or Twitch. Then you could have your chat on as well if you want your chat with it, obviously above your overlay. And then you can include party, party audio, yes or no. And then, obviously, you can adjust the camera wherever you want. Obviously, I don't have it enabled, but, you know, if you want to use it, you can use it up, down, left, or right, depending on where you want it. I don't know. But, obviously, I don't have my Kinect plugged in right now, so I really can't show you. But, you can either pick it on the left side, le le lower left, lower right, or top right. And then, after that, you can move the broadcast overlay, which, basically, you see this thing right here? Show it sees it shows the chat. So if I want to move to the left, I can move to the left, yep, top left, I can move it anywhere around the screen here, and then you could set that. It's pretty cool, I'd move in the middle. And then after that, once you're done with that, you're going to, um, you're going to either, after you've linked the right Beam account, you're going to click start broadcast, and then once you start broadcasting here, obviously I'm going to, I'll show you, start broadcasting, you'll automatically show up here. And then it'll be, let's say, welcome to Beam Chat. And obviously, if I have the face cam up, it'll be on the top right there. Or top left, or wherever you picked it to be. And then let's just go, I'm going to go in my Beam Chat and say something right now. I'll just say, hi. I'll say hi, and it should pop up on screen here in a second. Automatically, let's just give it a second. It's just welcome to the Beam Chat. So let's see if this works right now. 
I just pressed high. So see, your broadcast will be working. It'll show up on Beam because mine is right now live on Beam. Right now, if you've noticed, um, on Beam, you're obviously not gonna be able to see that, but on my end, I could see the chat. So if someone says hi, it should pop up here when I'm looking at it. Let's see. If I just spam, maybe it'll end up working. I don't know. It just depends. I gotta see if it actually ends up working here. But see, the quality looks really nice on it. Yeah, I'm looking on the Beam website right now. It looks really nice. See, if you go on my Beam here. Um, let's see on the beam quality side it's gonna look like this um, not bad it does not look that bad and it's almost instant look at this for my Elgato it is almost instant like if you let's first example um, I wanna switch to my freaking shotgun see this is no delay it is instant there is no delay with this so you almost get instant gameplay with this and it's really cool I had not lied with it before but it's actually really neat the beam chat isn't popping up obviously which kind of blows but this is almost instant so you're gonna basically get instant quality here and there's no delay almost at all it's like 0 0.3 seconds it says right here it's called uh, FTL it says it has less than 0 0.2 seconds of delay which is amazing so there's basically almost no delay with this from the Xbox one it's really cool and the quality still ends up being really nice Alright, but that's basically my tutorial on how to stream on Beam from the Xbox One. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you could. And we'll see y'all later for a live stream. Peace out. Make sure to go follow me on Beam as well. Make sure let's go for 50 likes, alright? Adios.